Title. The Endless Echo. In the quiet town of Evergreen Heights, the summers stretched long and lazy, a perfect backdrop for the shenanigans of a group of four teenagers, Mia, Ben, Ruby, and Tyler. Each summer, they would meet at the old Maplewood Park, a sprawling space filled with towering trees and an ancient swing set that creaked ominously. They loved the thrill of storytelling, particularly those that sent shivers down their spines. One evening, as dusk painted the sky crimson, Mia suggested they tell ghost stories. They settled onto the grass like fallen leaves, laughter mingling with the rustle of the wind. Mia pulled a tattered book from her backpack, a relic of her grandmother's, filled with local legends. She flipped to a page that mentioned, The Day That Never Ends, a tale of a young girl caught in a time loop, reliving the worst day of her life over and over. Imagine waking up to the exact same day, every day, Mia began, her voice dropping to a whisper. She tried everything to break the cycle, but no matter what she did, it always reset at sunset. The same people, the same events, and she could never escape. Ben, ever the skeptic, scoffed. Come on, it's just a story. Time loops aren't real. The rest of the group chuckled, but a chill raced up Mia's spine. She continued, her eyes scanning the park as if expecting the shadows to come alive. But what if it was real? What if someone got stuck in a loop? You wouldn't even know it was happening until it was too late. She paused and flipped to another page. Many say the park is cursed, that each sunset holds a secret. Those who dare to wander when the sun goes down might just find themselves lost in a time loop. As the final rays of sun dipped below the horizon, the group sensed an unusual weight in the air, a tension that pulled at their hearts. Ignoring the feeling, they decided to play a round of truth or dare before heading home. Tyler chose truth, and Ben grilled him about secrets until it was Ruby's turn. She dared Mia to swing alone on the old swing set while they counted to thirty. Mia laughed nervously but accepted the challenge, walking toward the swings. Don't get stuck in a time loop. Ben teased, his voice echoing teasingly against the trees. Mia jumped onto the swing, feeling the cool breeze envelop her. With each push, the quiet of the park deepened, an almost eerie stillness filling the air. As the group counted, the sun appeared to flicker, and the sky turned an unnatural shade of purple for just a moment. Mia started to swing higher, a chill creeping up her spine as shadows danced around the swing set. She looked back at her friends, they stood frozen, their expressions warped in disbelief. Just then, the ground shook beneath her, a low rumble that echoed in her chest. Guys? She called, but her voice seemed swallowed by the encroaching silence. Then everything shifted. The world blinked, and Mia found herself standing at the swing set again. Confused, she looked toward her friends, who were still frozen, mouths agape. Her heart raced as she realized the moment had reset, their count beginning anew. Three, Ben shouted, the echo ringing eerily. What just happened? She whispered. The group continued counting, unaware. Mia felt a feeling of dread wash over her, a realization that left her breathless, she was in the loop. Every attempt to call out brought her retreat into the shadows of inevitability. As she swung, she felt an unseen force pushing her higher, and panic gripped her. Every swing brought new tears as she tried breaking the loop, she jumped from the swing, rushed toward her friends, but it was like running underwater. Their laughter turned to screams as the sky darkened, and the shadows twisted grotesquely around them. Just as they reached the highest note of panic, the ground trembled again, their stillness haunting. The colors twisted, and Mia knew each time she failed, they would return to the beginning. The echo of laughter faded, replaced by her frantic heartbeat. Desperate, she decided to try something different. She turned her back to the swings and approached the center of the park. I'm not playing your game, she shouted, her voice powerful and clear. As if the park listened, the air trembled and the shadows recoiled. The ground stopped shaking. A hush fell over the area, and the moment stretched. She felt the profound weight of silence, the calm before the storm. As she took a step forward, a blinding light engulfed her. In that second, she saw all the possibilities, every loop, every failure played out like a film across her mind. And then it broke. The echo of that horrifying laughter faded like an unrehearsed memory. Mia opened her eyes as dawn broke over Maplewood Park. The world glimmered with dew, 
and the heavy air lifted as if it had never been. Heart racing, she looked around, her friends were there, yawning and stretching, as if it were just another morning at the park. Hey, did you see that strange light last night? Ruby said with a yawn, oblivious to the tension that hung in Mia's chest. Maybe they were free, maybe she had broken the cycle. But in the back of her mind, a silent dread nagged. What if tomorrow repeated itself? What if the park still hid its haunted echo? As the summer days drifted on, Mia couldn't shake the feeling of being watched, every sunset threatening a return to repetition. Each night as she closed her eyes, she half expected to wake up at that swing set again. The shadows danced once more, whispering the truth she dared not utter aloud. Time loops are born of both fear and fate, and some echoes refuse to fade.